Hey guys, Barth Vader Halloween here. Today we're going to be reviewing the Hanging Jack-O-Lantern, which was sold at Home Depot in 2019. I'm saying was because um, it's not sold anymore. Uh, they did remake this for the 2020 season, but the new one has a completely different Jack-O-Lantern design. Also, the creepy cloth on the new one is green, and the hands on the new one are green as well, and they have a different design. Um, if you're wondering why I am reviewing this, because it is really not that impressive of a prop. There's really not much special about it. Uh, I'm reviewing it because I do still think that this is a really cool item. I actually got this along with the Hanging Grim Reaper from, 20, from 2019 Home Depot as well. Forgot what I paid for them, but that doesn't really matter since the main focus is the prop and not the price. Now the sound clip that it uses is the same sound clip that is used for the, uh, I think, six foot tall jack-o'-lantern man that was made by Pan-Asian Creations. This is also made by Pan-Asian Creations if you're wondering uh, what company this was made by. Uh, it has the same audio clip. It, it, the audio clip is kind of overused since it was made for other uh, props from the same company, but I do, I do, I do like the audio clip. I think it's, I, I do think it's pretty cool, even though it's been used since like, oh, I don't know, like 2015. <laughs> but, um, one other thing that I would like to point out is that the, there is an LED bulb in there in the head. It is multicolored. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, uh, it's in there and it is multicolored and the arms are poseable. So you can pose them any which way you want. I did pose them like this for the video just because why not? It looks cool. Uh, and this is either sound activated or it is also try me button activated. The try me button is on the wrist right there. One more thing that I would like to say is that this is very loud. The speaker is very, very loud, uh, which is a good thing, but if you're like right up like right next to it and you activate it then it could possibly startle you because of how loud the audio is this is actually louder than the hanging grim reaper but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and activate him for you By the way, I'm at, I am actually standing on a ladder, a step ladder, because I have the hook up kind of higher. Uh, if I step down from the ladder, then this is about how then I have to actually like angle the camera up because this is actually like I'm using the same hook that I used for the flying ghost. And now the hook, uh, the reason why I had to take the flying ghost down is because the other hook for the flying ghost came off the wall while it was running, so it fell on the floor. It, it, it is fine, so don't worry about it. Um, I will have to drill another hole, because if you're wondering why there are four holes, uh, that actually happened four times. So that's why there are four holes in the wall still. Um, but yeah, I'll have to drill in another, another hole to set up the hook if I'm willing to uh, set up the flying ghost again. But this video is not about the flying ghost, it is about this. Um, I'll go ahead and activate it one more time, and then I'll end the video. So yeah, that is the uh, Hanging Jack-O-Lantern, sold at Home Depot in 2019. And if you guys like this, if you guys like this prop as much as I do, then hit the like button and subscribe if you like my content, and then leave a comment down below if you um, uh, just to let me know what you think of this prop as well. Uh, but anyways, I'll go ahead. I will see you in the next video. See you later.